it whenever you're on a winning run that is just absolutely out of this world this has to happen stay tuned welcome back guys we are here for another episode of chelsea's millions this time we are going up against liverpool in the league what i'm going to do is start making these episodes quite a bit shorter so we're just going to do one live game an episode try and bring it down to around about 15 20 minutes an episode if you're enjoying what you've been seeing, please leave us a like, subscribe to the channel and share it with all your friends. So what's happened since the last time you were with us? Well, last time you were with us, you were here for the Man United defeat and the 2-0 win against Benfica. Since then, we have been on a storming run and we were due to bring you the last Champions League game in the group against Moscow but we've already qualified for that so I just don't see the point in that so I thought chuck in a Liverpool game big top of the table game make us all happy the games have been fairly straightforward Brighton Carlisle Bournemouth then Moscow 4-0 we beat them we hit a stumbling block against Liverpool where we drew 0-0 we then went up against Wolves where we hit three past them. Werner on the score sheet twice and Loftus-Cheek off the bench. We then beat the main challengers, Borussia Dortmund 2-1 in the away leg of the group stage. Two goals from Werner there. Then beat Sheffield United and Newcastle 2-0 each in the league. Again, Loftus-Cheek on the score sheet. He's really started hammering home some goals. The Newcastle game was in the Carabao Cup. We then played Crystal Palace and smashed them 6-0. Hattrick from Haaland, a goal from Werner, Ziyech on the score sheet as well. And Ryan Gravenberch coming off the bench to grab one as well. We then played Dortmund in our last game where we secured top spot in our group. Let you have a look at that. So there is Group A, which we are currently 12 points out of 12. Nine scored, just one conceded. We have completely dominated that group. Be interesting to see who we pull in the next round. So like I say, we've really started finding our feet this season. And the competitions look like this at the moment. We're three points off of United with a game in hand. And we have already got a positive goal difference over them. Next would be Liverpool, who are five points away from us. And we play them today, so we could actually put that to eight points today. Champions League we've just had a look at. We've got Fulham in the quarter-final of the Carabao Cup after part going through Newcastle in the last game. With that said, I think it's time we take a look at today's lineup. So with that said, it's time for today's game. We are the early kickoff today. Other games to keep an eye on today, probably the Arsenal Crystal Palace game gives Arsenal a chance to get back into the top four. Leicester, who are currently in the top four, play bottom of the table Watford and the late kickoff today is Man City Wolves and they have their own ambitions of getting into the top four interesting thing at the moment Leicester have got two games in hand over us and if they were to win both their games they would be one point behind us solo lineups today they don't look too bad we've got a couple of players out mainly due to fitness concerns, but nothing major. So we're going to have Donnarumma in goal, James, Tamori, Zuma and Chilwell making up the back line. The midfield three will be Valverde, Mount and Havertz. And up front we'll be playing Sancho, Werner and Loftus-Cheek is going to be our poacher today. reason we're going with Loftus-Cheek, we'll take a look at his form. Every game that he's coming in to play, he's doing something in. On at 45 minutes and assisting a goal. On at 50 minutes, not too brilliant. But then started the a game, assisting a goal in the position as a poacher. He come on on 70 minutes as an a poacher and got a goal. 70 minutes against Dortmund. Then he's played, what, half an hour against Newcastle, grabbed the goal. So he's scoring goals from off the bench. So I think giving him a run out today is only fair. The reason Haaland won't be playing is pure and simply down to he needs a rest at the moment. So the team sheets have been dropped and we'll have a quick look at the Liverpool team lineup. 
It looks like Milner's going to be playing in at right back. Diego Carlos and Matip in the middle, which means they've got no Van Dijk. Robertson's going to be at left back. They have got SMS in the middle with Fabinho and Octley Chamberlain and their usual front three of Salah, Mane and Firmino. So let's have a quick go in the dressing room, pump our fists, go out there and give these fans their money's worth. And it seems to have motivated the majority of them. Right, out onto the pitch. So let's get ready and get started. Made a slight alteration to what we can see. I decided we didn't need to be looking at the players for both sides again when they're already written down here. So we've gone table at the top and today's league fixtures down the bottom. However, we're kicking off early, so we're going to be the only game that shows up down here. Hopefully, we can get on the score sheet first 20 minutes, and then we can look at whether we want to hold the lead or whether we can carry on pushing forward. So it started off first 10 minutes, only shot on the game is ours. We've got first highlight, but it's a Liverpool highlight by the looks of it. Into the box and Donnarumma saved it. SMS has took a dig from outside the box, but it's gone over. Whew, that's a close one. Hopefully we're not going to have too many issues throughout the game. It's been a slow start at the moment. These last few games that we've played, about five or six games on the bounce that we've won, we have looked really good going forward. We've had expected goals of over two a game at the moment. It's not started in the same vein that the others did this game. Let's give them a shout. We'd encourage them at the moment. Don't demand more quite yet. Hopefully that picks them up. It has done. Got smiles all round. If we look at the bottom, we've got a corner. Mount. In at near post. And it's headed into the back of the net by Zuma. I thought that went over. But the ref is calling for a VAR check. You know this is going to be chalked off. Goal review. Whenever that VAR comes off, they might as well write no goal straight away up. They, they could do a change in that. So this is the uh, disallowed goal. Yeah, he's miles offside there. He never interfered with play, but he's in front of the goalkeeper. And that's enough to declare as being interfering with play. So half an hour into the game, Liverpool probably had the better of it. They're just slightly shading it. The highlights have been ours, but there's not really much to say on the game at the minute. It's been quite a boring one. I was expecting a bit more than this. I'm going to demand more as we approach half time. It's fired a few of the players up. Loftus-Cheek ain't looking too happy up front. I think that's more to do with the service he's getting because he's just we've had two shots in the whole game. Might have to have a look at changing something at half time. Let's go attack him for a minute. Just for the last five minutes of the half. And if we look at the table, as things stand, we only claw a point back on United and then we'll be level games again. Don't really want to leave it like that. I don't think the attacking stance has done us any favours at all. If anything, Liverpool have pulled themselves back into the game. Let's have a look at the expected goals and then we can make a decision on it. So this is about where we changed to attacking. And then it stayed level, but we've then pushed on a little bit. Let's get in the dressing room and we will pump our fists. Media are giving you a lot of credit, so go out there and give them a worthy display. And that's motivated the majority of the players on the pitch. Let's see if we can get that lead that we want. Probably hold attacking until about the 60th minute, depending on what happens. After that, I guess we can look at doing something else. Just need to try and speed up the play. Liverpool with a goal kick. Allison plays it short to Matip. Across to Carlos, out to Matip. Upfield, intercepted by Valverde. Good ball into Werner there. Werner's took the shot, the keeper's saved, and it's fallen away. Defender clears. That was a golden opportunity for Werner to give us the lead. 
And you have to feel if Harlem was up top, maybe acting as the poach would have done more. It's cleared away now. Sancho back to Mount. Mount back to Havertz. The shot's taken from outside the box. It's dropped inside and cleared upfield. That looks encouraging. I am going to encourage him again because that does look encouraging the way they're going forward there. I might need to haul Loftus off. Who have we got on the bench? Tammy might be a better option. Give it to the 60th minute and we'll make our traditional 60th minute change. Let's bring that up now. Get Valverde off just because he's got that injury. And get Loftus off for Abraham. Sancho is not looking that great for his fitness. But I will probably play him until 75 minutes and bring Ziyech on. It just gives me the chance in case something else happens. We've got one more sub to use. We're already being advised to get Ziyech on for Sancho. I'm going to ignore that at the minute. Come on. Make something happen. Liverpool corner. Mo Salah with the corner. Into the box. And Donnarumma's collected well. Can we count, start a counter? He's just holding it up at a minute. Big ball forward. Sancho. Big ball over to Werner. Lots of space there for Werner. Takes the shot. Oh, it's been put wide. Keepers diverted it wide. And we're going to get a corner for it. We've definitely had the better opportunities. Mount into the box. And it's headed away. Mount to collect that. Can we continue with the highlight? Havertz, Kante, Mount through to Sancho. But it's going to run on out. Alisson had that covered. So just going to give a shout. Fire them up a bit more. They're all happy at the minute. I'm probably going to... Do myself no favours by making these shouts at them. Sancho's really got the bit between his teeth with that shout to fire him up. At what point do I bring Ziyech on though? Last 10 minutes, give him a chance to do something. Let's make the sub now. I like this little thing that you can do down here, making the substitutions from down there as a quick sub. It's, re it's really nice this year, the way they've laid everything out. They've done really well to work on all these graphics. For years it was like spreadsheet, spreadsheet, and that's all you were looking at. And I do like the spreadsheet side of things, but this has just made it so much more rounded of a game. Let's give a demand more shout. Very attacking for the last three or four minutes. We've definitely had the better of this game. It'd be a shame not to pick up all three points. Then again, we might have just thrown it away by going very attacking. Sometimes you have to balance and be happy to take a draw. Uh, I'm not really the sort of manager that likes to take a draw. I'd rather go for the win and drop the point if needed. Looks like that might be the way it's going to go. Come on, one more highlight. That would be lovely. We're not going to get it, are we? That's all over. It's full time. We definitely were a better team in the second half. We really clicked on and tried to get that extra goal. We just couldn't find it. So it finishes 0-0. I believe that was the result last time we played Liverpool at their place. We've now played Liverpool both times this season. Um, I'm going to go out there with point the finger. You were unlucky today because they were. They weren't. They didn't play bad. So that's how the table looks after the game against Liverpool. We're currently five points clear of Liverpool, who are in third place, and two points behind Manchester United. The fans are not exactly happy with that. Well, that was grim. Absolutely fuming with that. I can't see why they're moaning about it, to be honest with you. 
nil nil against Liverpool is not a major. It's not a massive dent in the uh, approach we've had to this season. And with that nil nil, we've got confirmation of an eight game run without losing. That includes two games against Liverpool in there. We've got games against Sheffield United, Bournemouth, Brighton, Villa. But there's a lot of clean sheets in there. The only game we conceded in was the Villa game. And since then, we haven't conceded. So we've got the, the back sorted. Going forward, it's pretty sorted. The only games we failed to score in are the Liverpool games. So breaking down the more solid defences might be an issue. But again, we didn't have Haaland playing. So it's just a case of seeing what happens. The more this team gets together, you've got to remember, this team's got probably four new faces in it that weren't there last year. So we'll wrap the episode up there. So just before we do, we've got the competitions that we've are still in. So we've finished top of Group A in the Champions League, currently second in the league, Carabao Cup quarter final against Fulham, and we beat Liverpool in the Community Shield, which we already know about. Manager performance is a B minus at the moment. So that's not looking too bad at all. Anything above a C is good. Finances, 122 million still in the bank. And we've got 54 million for transfers if we need it. And down the bottom, Haaland is the top goal scorer with 18 goals. Werner's top assist with six. We still haven't found a way of getting someone to be the most creative player at the club. So I need to look into that. We're the top goal scorers in the league with 29. And we've got the best defensive record in the league with two. So I'll leave it at that. If you've enjoyed that, please leave a thumbs up. Share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So you can keep seeing these videos. And I'll see you again soon.